All right, welcome back, fourth graders. I'm really proud of how hard you worked when you took the first part of the test. Now we're going to finish up. There's less questions on, on this one. All right, we're going to start with measurement and data. And like I said with the previous uh, video, please stop at any time. Pause the recording. You can even drag it to rewind it if you want to re-listen to it. And if anytime you get stuck, you can ask uh, for help. I can't really guide you to the answer, but maybe I can let you think about things differently. Or maybe you just need to re read to you. So um, just do your best. Show your work when, you're, when you need to. Okay, here we go. 31. Caitlin started her guitar lesson at 1.15 p.m. The lesson lasted 50, 55 minutes. Then it took 30 minutes for Caitlin to return home after her lesson. What time did Caitlin get home? Caitlin started her guitar lesson at 1.15 p.m. The lesson lasted 55 minutes. Then it took 30 minutes for Caitlin to return home after her lesson. What time did Caitlin get home? Pause. 32. Ricardo started his baseball game at 3.35 p.m. and finished at 4.50 p.m. He played catcher for 35 minutes and shortstop for the rest of the time. How long did Ricardo play shortstop? Ricardo started his baseball game at 3.35 p.m. and finished at 4.50 p.m. He played catcher for 35 minutes and shortstop for the rest of the time. How long did Ricardo, Ricardo play shortstop? Don't forget to pause. 33. Omar buys bananas and oranges for a fruit salad. The mass of the bananas is 245 grams. The mass of the oranges is 410 grams. What is the total mass of the fruit? Omar buys bananas and oranges for a fruit salad. The mass of the bananas is 245 grams. The mass of the oranges is 410 grams. What is the total mass of the fruit? Pause and write your answer. 34. Michaela has eight beakers to use for her science project. Her first step is to pour six fluid ounces of water into each beaker. How many fluid ounces of water does Michaela pour? Michaela has eight beakers to use for her science project. Her first step is to pour six fluid ounces of water into each beaker. How many fluid ounces of water does Michaela pour? Make sure you pause at any time, rewind when you need to. Number 35. The bar graph shows the results of a survey on favorite after school activities. How many more votes did playing games and sports combined get than watching TV and reading combined? The bar graph below shows the results of a survey on favorite after school activities. How many more votes did playing games and sports combined get than watching TV and reading combined? So you can see the title of the graph is favorite after school activity and you see the number of votes. You see watching TV right here. Then we have playing games, and then we have sports, reading, and the activity. So rewind if you need to. Think about what they're asking you. So look back at that question. It's kind of a wordy question. So break it up if you need to. All right, pause and write your answer. 36. The frequency table shows the lengths of leaves fourth graders collected and measured. Complete the line plot. The frequency table below shows the lengths of leaves fourth graders collected and they measured. Complete the line plot. So this is the title just says frequency table. This says leaf lengths and this is in inches. And this shows you how many leaves that they collected at that length. Now you need to create the line plot in this area here. All right, you're going to need to pause. Again, if you need to re rewind and listen to the question, please do so. Do your best. 37. Derek wants to find the area of a postcard in inches. How can Derek use one inch squares to find its area? Derek wants to find the area of a postcard in inches. How can Derek use one inch squares to find its area? Pause and answer the question. 
38. Ava covers a piece of construction paper with unit squares. What is the area of the construction paper? Ava covers a piece of construction paper with unit squares. What is the area of the construction paper? Each unit, we're on 39, each unit square in the rectangle is one square centimeter. What is the area of the rectangle? Each unit square in the rectangle is one square centimeter. What is the area of the rectangle? Pause when you need to and mark your answer. Number 40. What is the area of the rectangle? What is the area of the rectangle? 41. Find the area of the large rectangle by finding the areas of the two small rectangles and adding them. Find the area of the large rectangle by finding the areas of the two small rectangles and adding them. So really study this. Rewind what they're really asking. They're kind of asking you two questions here. Take your time and answer your question. Pause when needed. Number 42. Julia wants to cover the front of her book with fabric. The side lengths of the front cover are 8 inches and 9 inches. How much fabric does she need? Julia wants to cover the front of her book with fabric. The side lengths of the front cover are 8 inches and 9 inches. How much fabric does she need? 43. A ranger wants to combine two adjacent rectangle campsites into one. One campsite is 9 feet long and 7 feet wide. The other campsite is 8 feet long and 7 feet wide. What will be the area of the new campsite? This is wordy, so break it up into two. I'll read it again. A ranger wants to combine two adjacent rectangular campsites into one. One campsite is 9 feet long and 7 feet wide. The other campsite is 8 feet long and 7 feet wide. What will be the area of the new campsite? Pause and make some drawings. Take your time. 44. KJ puts painter's tape around the baseboards of his living room. The side lengths of the floor of the rectangular room are 16 feet and 18 feet. How much painter's tape did KJ use? KJ puts painter's tape around the baseboards of his living room. If you don't know what a baseboard is, you come up and ask me. Or if you think about it, there's usually a strip of wood or plastic. And in our classroom, there's a gray strip at the very bottom of the walls and that meets the floor. And you can see a gray strip. That's called a baseboard. Okay. So KJ puts painter's tape around the baseboards of his living room. The side lengths of the floor are the rectangular room. His, his living room is rectangular. Are 16 feet and 18 feet. How much painter tape does he need to use? 45. The perimeter of a triangular sign is 70 inches. Two of the sides are 24 inches each. What is the length of the unknown side? The perimeter of a triangular sign is 70 inches. Two of the sides are 24 inches each. Two, si two of the sides are 24 inches each. What is the length of the unknown side? Pause when you need to. We're almost done. Give me a smile. It's not that bad. Could be worse, right? I could be making you run like 60 miles or something. All right. When you're ready, let's start with geometry in the last few questions. 46. Look at the names of figures in the box. Write the names of the figures that have four sides. So we're going to look at these names. I will read them to you. And we have to decide which of these figures have four sides. I have quadrilateral, rectangle, square. Rhombus, triangle, parallelogram. Again, quadrilateral, rectangle, square, rhombus, triangle, parallelogram. Which of these have four sides? Pause and write your answer. 47. To what larger categories do all of these figures belong? 
to what larger category do all of these figures belong? So if we look at these, they go in into something. Like they all have something in common. What would you describe those three things? They have something in common. 48. Look at the names of figures in the box. Write all of the names that describe this figure. So you have this figure. Okay. And then there's four names. It might have none of them. It might have one of them. I could have all four of them. So there, there might be more than one way to describe this box. Um, and box is not one of the choices, is it? So would we say it's a quadrilateral? Would we say it's a triangle? Would we say it's a rectangle? Would we say it's a square? So let's choose. Is it a quadrangle? Is it a triangle? Is it a rectangle? Is it a square? It could be one of these. It could be none of these. It could be all four of these. I don't know, but you could have more than one answer. All right, pause, and then you can continue. 49. Look at the figures. Circle the figure that is a quadrilateral. So look at the figures. Circle the figure that is a quadrilateral. Number 50. Emily draws a figure that is a quadrilateral, but it is not a rhombus, rectangle, or square. Circle the figure that Emily drew. So Emily is going to draw a figure that it is a quadrilateral. So we do know that. It's a quadrilateral. So hopefully you know what that is. But here's what it's not. It's not a rhombus. It's not a rectangle. It's not a square. What figure did Emily draw? All right, this ends your assessment. When you're done, go back in, check over all 50 questions and make sure you answered them. All right, take a break. Great job. Thank you.